section three of our GED geometry practice, it says the area of a square is this. What is the length of a side of the square? Length of a side, you can see a side, okay? And from our formula sheets, the area formula for area of the square is what S square, okay? And it has told us our area is what? One, two, one, one twenty, one. So what to look for the length of a side, that's one side, S, okay? All right, you know a square has all sides what's equal. So if this is S, this is S, this is S, and also this is S, okay? So one side, all sides are equal. So what we just look for S alone. So here, the area of the square is one, two, one, equal to S square. Now, when you have something like this in maths, S square, and you're told to just find only S, what you do is you square root both sides, okay? When you square root S square, it's just going to give us one S, okay? And when you square root one to one two one, it's going to give us eleven. So S is equal to eleven centimeter. All right? Do you get me? When you have this in math, you have S square, S square, okay? And um, a, um, one and another number by the side. When you want to get just one value for S. What you do is you find the square root of both sides, okay? And I think I've explained this in a, in a separate video, which you can find on my channel, okay? If I've not really, if I've not done that, um, I'm going to check and do do this after explain these powers after this video, okay? But this is what you do in maths, all right? So when you have something like this, you are just to find only s. You square root both sides. So you find the square root of this. It gives you s. The square root of one to one. It gives you eleven. So our answer is what's eleven. This is the length of the side of this square. Eleven.